Welcome back to Elevate and Reflect with DC. I'm your host, Dark Cancer, and in today's episode is a three-parter. We're exploring some powerful tools that can significantly enhance your mental health and daily tranquility, mindfulness, and meditation. Whether you're a seasoned practitioner or new to the concepts, today's discussion will provide you with insights and practical tips to integrate these practices into your daily life. Last time, we tackled the topic of embracing change and how to thrive through transitions. We discussed strategies for dealing with the psychological impacts of change and practical tips for managing life's inevitable shifts. If you missed it, I highly recommend going back to gain tools that can help you navigate any type of change with resilience and grace. Part 1. Understanding Mindfulness and Meditation What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and engaged in the moment, aware of your thoughts and feelings without distraction or judgment. It involves a conscious direction of our awareness. We choose what to focus on, but also return to the present when our minds wander. Benefits of Mindfulness Reduces Stress Regular mindfulness practice can help decrease anxiety and stress by enhancing your ability to regulate emotions through improved awareness. Enhances Concentration It trains your brain to become more skilled at focusing on one task at a time, reducing mind wandering and improving your attention span. Improves Emotional Health Mindfulness allows you to deal with unpleasant emotions more calmly and positively, often resulting in improved relationships and personal satisfaction. Introduction to Meditation Meditation is a formal practice of mindfulness, which often involves quiet sitting and breathing exercises. It can be guided led by a person or audio guide or unguided done independently. Core techniques include focusing on breath, body sensations, or a mantra, a word, or phrase repeated to aid concentration. Benefits of Meditation Stress Reduction One of the most well-known benefits, meditation can lead to decreased levels of cortisol, the stress hormone. Mental Clarity and Peace Regular meditation clears the overload of information that builds up daily, contributing to stress relief. Health Improvements Studies suggest that meditation contributes to a healthier heart and lower blood pressure, among other physical benefits. <laughs> Guided Exercise A Simple Mindfulness Practice Let's try a simple mindfulness exercise right now. Wherever you are, take a moment to pause. If it's safe, close your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in, hold it for a moment, and then exhale slowly. As you do, Bring your attention to your breath. Notice the sensation of air entering and leaving your body. Observe how your chest rises and falls. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breath. We'll do this for about a minute. Pause for a guided minute. How do you feel? Even a short practice like this can help center your mind and reduce stress. Wrapping up part one. That's it for the first part of our episode on mindfulness and meditation. We've introduced the basic concepts and touched on some significant benefits. In the next part, we'll dive deeper into various meditation techniques and explore how to incorporate these practices into your daily routine for enhanced tranquility and mental clarity. Preview of Part 2 Stay tuned for the next segment where we'll explore different types of meditation, discuss tips for building a consistent practice, and share stories from individuals who have transformed their lives through mindfulness and meditation after this short break. Welcome back to Elevate and Reflect with DC. I'm your host, Dark Cancer, and in this second part of our episode on mindfulness and meditation, we're going to explore different meditation techniques and discuss how to effectively integrate these practices into your daily life to achieve tranquility and enhance mental clarity. Recap of Part 1 In the first part of our episode, we introduced the concepts of mindfulness and meditation, discussed their benefits, and even walked through a simple mindfulness exercise. If you tried the exercise, you might have noticed even a minute of mindfulness can help calm the mind and reduce stress. 
breathing meditation. This is perhaps the most fundamental form of meditation, focusing on the breath. It's an excellent way for beginners to start. Here's how you can practice it. Find a quiet place and sit comfortably with your back straight. Close your eyes and take deep, regular breaths. Focus your attention on your breath, the inhalation and exhalation. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breath without judgment. Guided Meditation In guided meditation, you listen to a recorded meditation or a live instructor who guides you through the meditation process. It can involve visualizing a peaceful place and being guided through a series of steps to reach a deep state of relaxation. Mindfulness Meditation This form of meditation involves being mindful and present at the moment. Rather than focusing on a single object, you observe all aspects of your environment, including thoughts and sounds, without judgment or attachment. Body Scan Meditation This involves mentally scanning your body to identify and release tension. Lie down or sit comfortably. Close your eyes and slowly focus on each part of your body in turn, from your toes to your head. As you focus, relax and release any tension you find. Loving Kindness Meditation also known as meta-meditation, it focuses on developing feelings of goodwill, kindness, and warmth towards others. It starts with developing kind thoughts and feelings toward yourself, and then expands outward to friends, family, acquaintances, and all living beings. Start small. If you're new to meditation, start with just a few minutes a day and gradually increase the time. Consistent practice. Try to meditate at the same time each day, whether morning or evening, to establish a routine. Create a dedicated space. If possible, dedicate a quiet space in your home for meditation. It can be a corner with a comfortable chair or cushion. Use apps and resources. Consider using meditation apps that offer guided sessions and reminders to help you stay on track. Consider the story of Maria a busy software developer who found herself overwhelmed by the pressures of work and life. Maria started practicing guided and breathing meditations using a popular app. Over time, she noticed significant improvements in her ability to handle stress and her overall happiness. Meditation became a non-negotiable part of her day, much like brushing her teeth. We've covered several meditation techniques today and discussed how to make them part of your everyday routine. These tools are not just practices, but can become a way of life, transforming how you experience every day. Preview of Part 3 In the upcoming final part of our episode, we will look at the challenges people often face when starting meditation, debunk common myths, and explore the profound impacts regular meditation can have on your life. Welcome back to Elevate and Reflect with DC. I'm Dark Cancer, your guide on this journey to deeper understanding and daily tranquility. Today, in our final segment on mindfulness and meditation, we'll tackle some common challenges and misconceptions and highlight how transformative these practices can be when incorporated into daily life. Recap of Parts 1 and 2 In our first part, we introduced mindfulness and meditation, discussing their benefits and how they can reduce stress, improve concentration, and enhance emotional health. We practiced a simple mindfulness exercise together. In the second part, we explored various meditation techniques like breathing, guided, mindfulness, body scan, and loving-kindness meditations. We also discussed practical tips for integrating these practices into your daily routine, aiming to make meditation as habitual as any other part of your daily wellness. Consistency is key. One of the biggest challenges is maintaining a regular meditation practice. It's common to start with enthusiasm and then hit a wall of busyness or boredom. Solution, set realistic goals and remember that even five minutes of meditation can be beneficial. Use reminders or apps to keep you accountable. Dealing with distractions. Many beginners find their minds wander constantly during meditation, which can be discouraging. Solution. Understand that distraction is a natural part of the mind's function. Each time you notice your mind wandering, gently bring it back to your focus without judgment. Physical discomfort. 
Sitting for long periods can be uncomfortable, especially in the beginning. Solution. Use comfortable cushions or chairs and start with short sessions. Gradually increase the duration as your body adjusts. Debunking Meditation Mythos Myth. You need to empty your mind completely to meditate successfully. Truth. Meditation isn't about achieving a blank mind, but rather about observing thoughts without attachment. Myth. Meditation takes years to learn effectively. Truth. While deep meditation can take time to master, the basic practices can be learned quickly and can start to bring benefits almost immediately. Myth. Meditation is a religious practice. Truth. Meditation can be a spiritual practice, but it is also widely used as a secular tool for improving mental health and well-being. Regular meditation can lead to profound changes in how you view the world and interact with others. It often brings greater compassion and patience and a more thoughtful response to daily challenges. Long-term practitioners report enhanced self-awareness, deeper peace, and improved physical health. Over these three segments, we've covered the what, why, and how of mindfulness and meditation. From the basic concepts and benefits through various techniques to overcoming common challenges and debunking myths, we aim to provide a comprehensive guide to these powerful tools for mental tranquility and personal growth. As we conclude our deep dive into mindfulness and meditation, remember that these practices are not just techniques, but gateways to a more centered and peaceful existence. They require patience and persistence, but the rewards can transform your life. Reflect on your current lifestyle. How might mindfulness or meditation enhance your daily life? What are your biggest barriers to incorporating these practices and how can you overcome them? I invite you to share your thoughts and potential solutions in the comments on our YouTube channel or join the conversation on our Patreon. Links to both can be found in the description. If you found value in today's episode and want to support the podcast, consider becoming a patron on our Patreon page, subscribing to our YouTube channel, or leaving a review on Apple Podcasts. Your support helps keep this podcast going and makes a big difference. Thank you for joining us on this journey through mindfulness and meditation here on Elevate and Reflect with DC. Keep practicing, keep learning, and until next time, continue to elevate and reflect on your path to tranquility. Farewell, and see you in the next episode.